Clock in, clock in. Black guy just walked in. Yeah. He already dead. It ain't no need to check his fighters, bitch. He already dead. It ain't no need to check his fighters. Team black gotta stand up, man. Yo, right now you feel me? Let's take some time out to put those black hearts in the comments for X. If you guys already forgot about X, how dare you? You feel me? X was one of the brightest, youngest artists, you feel me, who tried to awaken us in ways we ain't even think we could wake up, you feel me? So I feel like we should let that man live on for a long time. And speaking of X, the people who has something to do with him passing it slowly but surely snitching on each other. Child big stupid ass, you feel what I'm saying? Now, not only are they snitching on each other, they snitching on each other to get out. And uh, I wanna see how that works out, you feel me? Before we get into the rest of the video, quick commercial break. If you like these videos, I'm pretty sure you're gonna like these videos. Not only would you like them videos, you would also like these videos. And these is the music you guys constantly keep telling me to drop. Right now, I want to cause less confusion, so you feel me? We got the music channel if y'all want to listen to the music. And we got the other channel if you guys want to just watch me. Daily. We dropping so many videos a day. Hell, one day I might just drop 10 videos in one day. Anything you guys ask me to do on Insta, that's what I'm going to. If y'all don't know what my Insta is, y'all tripping. If y'all not following me on Insta by now, you just a little bit too hot out to you need some milk. Back up is Black Gotti 2.0. So y'all definitely tap in and stay connected with me on all angles. Love. The murder of XXX Tentacion shocked the world, especially finding out he was killed over 50 racks in a Louis bag. Now, one of his killers is snitching on his home. Look at him. Bro, I thought he was finna buy 50,000 cheeseburgers. You feel me? They hopefully they were gonna bust it down 25. So he thought he was gonna get 25,000 cheeseburgers. And I don't know what found trying to get, he was trying to get some butt, some coochie. Tomies to avoid life behind bars. Here's what's going on. On August 15th, news broke that one of the suspects in X's murder had flipped. Robert Allen decided to plead guilty for a lesser sentence. And part of the deal is for him to testify against the other three duels involving the shooting. They was all originally charged with premeditated first degree murder. But Allen's charge got reduced to second degree murder and robbery with a firearm. According to Allen's lawyer, he wasn't even part of the hit. He says, When it comes out to what uh, Mr. Allen's role in this, it was much less than the other three involved. It was always kind of contemplated that the state was looking to use him as a witness in the case. And finally, we came to an agreement. And How do y'all feel about this, bro? And I'm talking to the people out here who still out here doing stupid shit with the niggas you hang with. I hope this is opening your eyes, fam. These folks is built out here to fold and help they self out. They go is not to help your big stupid egg ham hawk cheeseburger grits. Everything we eat for breakfast face ass. Niggas with you go is not to help you get out. Their goal is to help their self get out. When this nigga did whatever he did, he knew what the hell were the consequences behind that shit. You feel me? He still did it hoping that them consequences wouldn't come. Come on, man. Y'all know fam hungry ain't commissary and nothing like that, fam. He ain't got too many people shooting that shit. He, he gonna be hungry. What y'all think, fam? Y'all try to take fam away from Burger King, McDonald's? Subway? Hell no, nah, he don't even eat fresh. He ain't even worried about Subway. Hey, you talking about Chitless? Hey, you talking about KFC? Y'all got that man messed up, bro. And, and pled to that agreement today. Which again, there are no specific promises, but obviously we're hoping for a lot better than a life sentence. Again, his involvement much less than the others, more of an accessory after the fact than really part of the planning. Certainly never got out of the car, never had a gun, never shot anybody. Even though Allen's charge got reduced to second degree murder, he's still facing life in prison. His co-defendants all have premeditated first degree murder charges though. So he might end up helping the prosecution give him all the death penalty. On June 18, 2018, that's how they X do it. To a motorcycle and boat dealership in Deerfield Beach. Hold up, that's his big ass right there. That's him right there. Tell me he ain't get out of the He ain't get out of the car. 
But that's him right there. Cycling boat dealership in Deerfield Beach with his uncle. According to investigators on the case, a dude in Deerfield hold Beach hold with hold his I uncle. I gotta speak on this, man. X got a bag. Whoever his uncle already peeped these niggas looking funny. Hell, he was looking like these niggas looking funny. Ain't no way in hell they gonna buy anything enough. According to investigators on the case, a dude named Dedrick Williams saw his whip and called up Michael Bowright, Trayvon Newsom, and Robert Allen to pull up and see if X was really there. Williams was in a probation office with X a few months earlier, and that's why the cops think he knew it was his whip outside the dealership. Around 3.30 p.m., security cameras call Allen and Williams follow him into the shop. They walk right past X while he was checking out some motorcycles and bought two black masks, while the dude they wanted to rob was just a few feet away. X and his uncle left the dealership about 30 minutes later, and that's when all four suspects allegedly blocked his car in with their SUV. Then Newsom and Boatwright. Fam, this is crazy because the car ain't even blocked in. I would have pulled out this way, like, what's going on? See, X wasn't expecting for these dudes to actually shoot. And my boy right here got up out of there. Allegedly hopped out and allegedly that's what he did. Robbed him. Newsom grabbed the Louis V bag with 50 bands in it, while Boatwright snatched X's chain. During all the chaos, X's uncle dipped and ran off, leaving his nephew alone. According to detectives, Newsom ran back to the SUV, but Boatwright allegedly took a couple steps back and shot X six times, killing him. That's when witnesses say that Newsom and Boatwright grabbed the LV bag from X's car and escaped in their own whip. It only took around a month for the cops to track all four of them down. They grabbed Williams about a week after the killing, and by early August, they snatched all of them up on premeditated first-degree murder charges. Williams pled not guilty, but when he got interrogated, he allegedly told police that the murder had cost him sleepless nights. He also said he ain't confessed earlier because he didn't want to be known as a snitch. What's wild is that he pled not guilty and damn near confessed to the whole thing. And now that Allen is working with the cops, there's almost no chance that Williams is going to beat his case. X's dad says he wants Boatwright to be given the death sentence and the rest of the crew to go down for life without parole. Boatwright, Williams, and Newsom could all be facing lethal injection, but it ain't clear if prosecutors are even going for the death penalty yet. Allen would have been facing death too, but since he snitched, the max he'll get is life without parole. Before X got killed, he was on his way to the top of the rap game. He was born in Plantation, Florida and raised mostly by his grandmother since his parents wasn't around. When he was 10 years old, his dad got caught up in a RICO case in Arizona and was locked up for nine years. Then, in 2016, he got deported to his home country of Jamaica. X had a lot of problems as a kid. His aunt got him into music by making him join the school choir, but he got kicked out after attacking another student. His middle school eventually threw him out for fighting, and that's when his mom put him in a youth program and he started diving deeper into music. When he was 14, X got arrested for possessing 21 grams of marijuana. He had to spend a month in juvie and six months in a behavioral correctional facility. Then right after he got out, he was arrested again for breaking into a house and stealing a laptop to make music on. After he dropped out of high school in his sophomore year, that laptop he stole was worth it. He just stole three of them this year. X got locked up in juvie again on gun charges, which is where he linked up with Ski Master Slump God and started rapping. When they got out of juvie, they started hitting houses together for cash. X used some of that money to buy a mic, and that's when they started making tracks and posting them on SoundCloud. X joined Ski Mask's rap crew, very rare, but then split off and started his own group called Members Only. Ski admired X's talent, so he decided to join Members Only too. X dropped his debut album in 2014 and followed up with more projects the next year. He was working at a call center in 2016 and trying to get his rap career going at the same time. So he decided to take music seriously and moved in with Denzel Curry. It seemed like X was really trying to focus on his career, but then a couple months later, he was arrested for robbery and assault with a deadly weapon. According to the arrest report, X broke into a house with three other dudes and allegedly pistol whipped the dude three times and stole an iPad, iPhone, PlayStation Portable, and $20 in cash. Just days before the robbery went down, X posted bail for stabbing his manager tables. God damn, X. X was just a Badass dude, but I, I hope y'all noticed like the type of music X was making was letting it know, letting it be known like he was fighting his old self. Y'all just seen that video like they had put clips of when he was fighting the part of him when, when he had blonde hair and black hair and shit. Like he just was basically fighting the old him. And I don't know if y'all noticed like X was waking up, you feel me, and just on a different path. Like, it's like he used his negativity that he did to become positive, if that makes sense. Ski Mask allegedly lied to X and said Tables was stealing from him. 
So a few days later, X broke into his apartment and stabbed him. Tables almost died, but he decided to drop the charges because he didn't want one bad choice to define who X was. X posted bail for the robbery case and got back to work on his debut album. But in October 2016, he got arrested again for aggravated battery of a pregnant woman, domestic battery by strangulation, false imprisonment, and witness tampering after he allegedly attacked his pregnant girlfriend and tried to bribe her to not testify against him. The arrest report said the victim's eyes were punched to where both eyes became shut and the victim could not see, and photos show his girlfriend with black eyes and a bruised nose. X was facing a lot of time if he got convicted, but the trial kept getting delayed and eventually his victim asked the court to drop the charges. After he died, Pitchfork released audio of X talking to some friends about the domestic violence case. X said he had no pride looking in the mirror because he couldn't control his anger. He also said that he used to f his ex-girlfriend up for cheating on him, but he forgave her and wouldn't touch her again. Some of his fans tried to clear it up by claiming that he meant f her up mentally. A Rolling Stone journalist who wrote a biography of X said that the excuse was illogical in context. X was accused of some brutal crimes, but he was holding on to a lot of trauma too. On the same recording, he talks about f***ing his girl up. He talks about seeing someone get their tongue cut out, watching someone else get raped, and even seeing someone trying to murder his mother. After he blew up, X also ended up falling out with Ski Mask's slump guy. He told his fans in October 2017 that he was retiring unless Ski Mask would be friends with him again. X hopped on IG Live and said, it was a lack of appreciation on his end, not because of me, I guess just from a business perspective. I can't even say I've done anything to him. They use you to where they want to go and then part ways. And I've been used a lot if you haven't noticed. Then Ski Mask started posting on Instagram to tell his side of the story. He wrote, that alien looking name that says sex. I had to distance myself because it's like nobody would see me as an individual rapper if I don't. On top of that, that crazy as hell. He also claimed that X threatened his family. X responded on Instagram writing, don't care about what you said about me. You know who got your back, love you forever. It ain't clear what exactly went down between them, but they eventually squashed the beef at Rolling Loud Miami and became cool again. X dropped the track Look At Me back in 2015, but it took two years for it to pop off. It peaked at number 34 on the Billboard Hot 100 in 2017 and picked up more momentum after fans started accusing Drake of biting X's flow on his track KMT. X was locked up while Look At Me was popping and labels started reaching out to sign him. He ended up with Empire Distribution so he could have full control over his music. Then he got out of jail in April 2017 and went on his first tour. X was already making headlines for his wild past, but no one expected what happened on the tour. He got knocked out on stage, a fan got stabbed at another show, he dove into a crowd to fight someone, and during one set, he got tossed into a barricade by security. Even though his own tour was crazy, Drum gave X a major break and brought him out on stage with him during Kendrick's Damn Tour. By this point, X was already one of the hottest new artists in the game, and his first album debuted at number two on the Billboard 200 chart. X told fans he wanted to drop three albums in 2018, but unfortunately, only one of them got released before he got killed. His career lasted just a couple of years, but his music changed the industry forever. He got over five tracks with a billion plays on Spotify, and his last post is the third most liked picture on Instagram. According to X and people close to him, he was making a huge effort to become a better person before he died, but he was tragically killed right when he was turning it all around. At least his family and fans will be getting justice for his death soon. Plus, Williamson basically already confessed to it during his interrogation, so it could end up being a pretty quick trial. This story's still developing, so y'all tap in for updates. Rest in peace to XXX. As y'all can see what we learned from this, so I'm pretty sure you got the same thing that I got out of this. Stop doing shit with niggas who ready to tell on you guys. And that means everybody, because everybody's ready to tell on you. Because when it gets to a situation where it's either me or you, who you think that person is going to choose? I'm going to let y'all think about that. You feel me? And I'm going to catch you on the next video. And let me know what you got out of it. Clock out, clock out, black got him. Just what that. My bitch be mad cause I be gone all day. Say you gon' be okay. I gotta go and get this money, baby. The bills gotta get paid. And plus, I gotta buy some ammo for my stick. What up? Some titties for my bitch. What up? A new house for